Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new and welcome to a new weekly vlog. So today is actually Wednesday. I know. I don't think I've ever started a weekly vlog this late, but I've been working a lot. Me and the kids ran some errands on yesterday, yesterday, and then Sunday I actually spent some time with my family and then when I was done with that, no, actually before that I had to I was working so I was doing a bunch of editing so um yeah I've just been like editing filming my surgery is coming up on the 15th so in 27 days we will be having surgery this is also shark week which hasn't ugh, it's put a damper in my plans a little bit but so far actually other than the fact that I was super moody last week and super super irritable this week I've actually had a good bit of energy, which I'm like, knock on wood, I'm not in pain, I haven't been in pain, knock on wood, that it stays that way, because this is my last period. I will never have another one ever again. As long as COVID does not spike, and as long as COVID, as long as we don't have any lockdowns, because I'm really worried about that. I'm really worried about that. Anyways, I did want to mention that this video is sponsored by Sutera. Do you guys remember I got this pillow a couple of months ago? This pillow is amazing. It has contours in it that is perfect to make sure that you do not have any neck pain, any, or it's, it's going to reduce the amount of neck and back pain that you have. For me, I have not experienced any, which has been amazing. You just put your neck right there. You have the little concaves or the contours right here. Even if you wanted to do it like that, you could. Oh, that feels so good on the neck. I always just put my neck right here or my head right here. And then I usually will put my arms around here. I love this pillow and I think that you guys will love it too. So I will link it down below in the description box along with any coupon codes. I highly, highly, highly recommend. Obviously, I don't have the uh, pillowcase on it right now because I wanted to show you guys the contours and everything. But this thing has been so amazing and I absolutely absolutely love it and i know that you guys will too so again link is down below huge thank you to sutera for sponsoring this video and what else do we want to talk about we want to talk about christmas so i have fully 100 percent decorated my whole entire house and i love how everything turned out i could not be happier the trees look amazing. The mantle looks amazing. Like everywhere I turn, I see Christmas and it just makes me so freaking happy. And it makes me so happy because last year I was not in the Christmas spirit. I did not want to decorate. I did not want to celebrate. I was just like Christmas, well, whatever. Uh. You guys remember I had just, you know, gone through my divorce in April. So I was just, I was just not up to it. Like I just, well, and the only reason why I decorated was because of my kids and I hated it. I hated feeling that way because y'all, Christmas has always been my time. It has always been my time to shine and be happy. I'm that girl that can go to like Home Depot, Walmart, uh, TJ Maxx, like anywhere and just literally just look at Christmas decor for hours upon hours because it just makes me so happy and brings me so much joy and to have that joy just like taken from me last year I was like I hated it and no matter what I did I could not find it so the fact that I have it back full force more than I feel ever this year has just made me so happy plus this is the first year that we've decorated this house it's it's perfect I absolutely absolutely love it everything looks so amazing and I could not be happier with how everything turned out. So I wanted to mention that. I also want to ask you guys, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Has COVID and lockdowns put a damper in your plans? Are you guys locked down? Are you guys in any cities that have gone through or are going through a lockdown? Our numbers have not spiked yet. I'm fingers crossed hoping that they don't and I'm finger cross, fingers crossed hoping that it doesn't and that we don't have a lockdown because I need to have this surgery, you guys. Like, I'm like, nothing better stand in the way of me having this surgery. 
because like I said, I want this to legit be the last shark week of my entire life. I'm done. I'm over with it. It's It's got to go. It's got to go. But um, so far, we are still planning because, you know, it's next Thursday. Today's Thursday. No, today's Wednesday. What is today? Hold on. I said it was Wednesday, right? This week has gone by so far. This so fast so fast this week has gone by so fast <laughs> it's gone by so fast that i i keep forgetting if today feels like thursday and then today's feel like thursday but it's really only wednesday so technically it really hasn't gone as fast as i thought it has but next thursday is thanksgiving and so far it is still going as planned that we are just getting together family only and we're gonna do a little thing and I am making squash casserole from a Zipaladine recipe, green bean casserole, which is my specialty and my favorite. I know it's not easy, like it's not, that's not something to brag about, but I do. Um, <laughs> and then I'm also making this uh, caramel apple, no, just a caramel dip that I saw on Tiffany Beeson's channel that has like cream cheese on the bottom and then caramel and then toffee. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing and i'm also bringing a pecan pie because don't even try to ask me to make one because yeah right um but yeah that's the one thing i miss about my ex um there's actually a couple things i miss about my ex uh namely the fact that he could like literally fix anything and everything i miss that the most but then around uh thanksgiving because that was always like his family's holiday where we'd go visit his family and his sister she makes such bomb ass pumpkin, not pumpkin, pecan pie and their cornbread dressing and then their giblet uh, dress, uh, gravy. I can't even talk. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Like I just want to go up there just to go and be like, Hey, I'm still family, right? Hey fam. Um, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I do. I do miss that. And actually the kids went last year and they're like, where's the pecan pie? And she's like, where is your mom? She's not here. No one gets a pecan pie. And I was like, damn, I didn't know she like legit made those pecan pies just for me. She did. And they were good. And I miss those pecan pies. So anyways, I have talked your ears off long enough. I need to go ahead and get back to work. I'm doing some editing. I filmed a another murder mystery type video this morning or actually this afternoon uh early this afternoon and so i've got to edit that and i've got some other things i need to edit so i will check in with you guys later i hope you guys are doing amazing so i'm gonna get back to work and i'll check in with you guys later to throw my game not really why I came oh do me a favor pour me another glass pour hearts and never last oh take me I'm a wild one getting bored out looking for attention I'm not looking to me no friend no Thursday. This has been me all day. Not necessarily laying down, but on this couch all day. I did some editing, but I told you it was Shark Week, and I was telling you yesterday how it hasn't been that bad. I 
Like I said, I just keep repeating to myself, this is the last one ever. This is the last time you're ever going to have that stuff coming out of there. Gross, I know, but I'm tired. I'm so, so tired. These past two, and it's especially discouraging because the doctor was like, oh, the DNC and the cone biopsy is going to make your cycles so much lighter. Well, they should anyway. And these have been the two heaviest that I've probably ever had in my whole entire life. And I'm just over it. I'm over it. I really want to take a nap right now. And I think I might. But it's kind of late in the day. It's 4.14. Um, I hate to come on here complaining. I feel like I've been complaining in like every vlog lately. I don't know. It's just ever since surgery, I've just been, I've been different. And I think it's the extreme highs and lows because I haven't been able to work out. Today I'm six weeks post-op. I'm supposed to be able to work out and I'm like, oh, oh, I ain't working out because the minute I start working out, then I'm going to start cramping. And I, that's one thing I will say is I haven't been cramping um, much. I have, I mean, it's like super, super mild cramping. Um, Niagara Falls is flowing out of me. I mean, legit Niagara Falls, but I have never flowed this heavy in my life. Um, I mean, I'm sure I have, but it's, it's just weird. I don't know. There's, there's not pain accompanying it, which I'm super happy about, but I still can't believe the stuff I talk about on YouTube. Y'all love me, and I love you guys, too. I love the fact that I can talk to you guys, and a lot of you guys understand where I'm coming from. Like, you've been in my shoes. Whether you're currently going through it, or you've been through it. p.m. Okay, I didn't, I didn't ask. Oh, here's a cramp. Sometimes I feel like contractions, y'all, and I never went into labor. I mean, I did go into labor with control. And this is what it felt like. But she told me I was contracting like really good. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Feels like a mild period cramp. Like, whatever. <laughs> so, anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm not doing so hot today. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. So, um, still not feeling that great today. Still not feeling that great today, but I have a good bit of work to do. I've got a lot of research to do for this true crime makeup video that I'm working on. You guys have any suggestions, by the way, on what I could call that? Because I don't want to copy Bailey and call it Makeup and Mysteries, which I really like, but hers is so similar. You know that I don't want to call it that so I need to call it something else but I feel really horrible today I'm definitely more crampy I'm definitely really tired and so I'm just going to take some more notes I had started taking notes thinking because my sister-in-law had told me about this one and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna do it because it's Number one, it, it sounded very interesting, and I'm like, I'm intrigued. I want to, I want to cover this, and cover it like I'm a reporter. Um, I want to do this, but then also, it seemed like it wasn't going to be, you know, super lengthy video. I could probably get it around 20 minutes, and maybe I can. But there's so much information that I'm trying to write down and get. That it's like, I worked on it for a good like three hours last night, watching things, researching, taking notes, trying to do like a little, um, what do you call those things? Timeline? Basically like keep me on track and kind of put things in order of how I want to present them. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. I was doing it last night and then I was just like, I, I started feeling really overwhelmed because there was just so much more information that I needed to put in there that I was just like, let's just call it a night. So um, I'm going to work on that today. 
edit this video, get it up. And hopefully I have the energy. Like I'm just, like I said, I'm so freaking tired. I'm so glad that this is going to be my last cycle. Cause like I said, it, it is as much as I try, as much as I try to prepare um, and do things and do all of the things that research has proven to help with cramps and pain and fatigue and blood flow and all that stuff. I do it all and I always feel like it's always the opposite effect for me. Um, just like this DMZ was supposed to help and it's literally been the worst it's ever been the past two months. So that didn't help. It seemed to piss my cervix off and now my cervix is like... You trying to get rid of me? Well, I ain't going to go that easy because I, you have a hell to pay for making me go. So I'm just, I just can't wait for December 15th, which I'm excited about. The fact that I'm not like nervous like I was before because I'm like, I'm just, just get it out. Just get it out. If I could take it out now be like, take it out. I just pray that I do not start two days early next week or next month because I will be, I will just not be happy. So anyways, I'm going to go get some work done working from my bed today because that's just how we have to do. I have some really great videos coming up this week. I have a house tour, which I'm super, super, super excited about. Tomorrow, fingers crossed, I have tons of energy so that me and the kids can leave the house because I wanna, I wanna go get some things to make some finishing touches on a couple of the trees. And then I also wanted to do something right there. If you guys see, there's a hook on the door. So I wanted to put something right there. And I also wanted to wrap some presents so I can get some presents under the tree because I'm going super fancy even with my presents, y'all. Like I said, I completely had a vision. And my vision has completely come to life. And this is the first time that it truly has ever come out the way that I wanted it to. So fingers crossed that the presents look as amazing as I hope that they're going to look. And we can put them under the tree and they're going to be super fancy. And I might put some under other trees because I don't like the whole section of how much you can see of the tree between the tree and the tree skirt. And I tried bunching it up and it looked ridiculous. So I was just like, well, we're just gonna have to get some presents to hide it. So we're gonna do that. Um, so hopefully I'll have the energy this weekend to do that. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you're having a much better you had a much better week than I did. I had a good week until my cervix decided to take over and ruin the delete the week, but she will be gone next in like less than a month. So that's awesome. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Sorry, I am so not energetic. I'm trying my best, but my cramps are starting to pick up and I'm like, no, no, because I haven't had any other than like super mild cramping. Um, but they're definitely starting to pick up. And I'm also just super low on energy. And I hate this because I really wanted to get some things done today. But I'm not filming this way. I'm just not. So if you haven't seen my Christmas decorate with me, I will link it down below. Also, huge thank you to Sutera for sponsoring this video. Guys, I'm seriously that pillow is game changer life changer highly recommend link it down below along with any discount codes and i think that's everything look out for my christmas home tour i'm super super excited about it i have envisions of how i'm going to do that and all three of us are going actually all four of us are going to be involved me Kentrell, bella and ava so i'm super excited about that um, so look out for that. And then some other fun videos, of course, some murder mystery ones coming up, which there's one that I'm going to research, start researching that I was really into that it's very disturbing, but it's not a murder. Um, so I'll be doing all kinds of stuff. It's actually like true crime. You guys can come up with a cool title. That would be awesome. Link it down below in the description box. Why do I always say that? Put it down in the comment section. Comment it. 
Someone just called me and they messed me up. They messed up my flow. Thanks, call. <laughs> Do y'all get like this on your period? You're just, everything irritates you. Everything irritates you. The kids make too much noise. It's irritating. The dog wants to love on you too much. It's irritating. I'm just like, I also don't want people around me. Like, I'm like not around me, but like on me. I'm like, get off of me. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Positive vibes, please. And pray for me because I need it. Love you guys. Bye.